Oh, that is weird. Then when I said as a language model, I'm not able to assist. <laughs> what can you do then? We love testing different AI models for game making. And today we're going to have an interesting selection. We're going to try Gemini 2.5 Pro, Grok 3, and DeepSeeker 1. All of them have reasoning capabilities. And uh, we'll see which one does best. We have this good looking game that was made on Rosebud yesterday, right, Jason? Mm -hmm. This asset is from Quaternius, uh, and we discussed different assets in our previous video. Give it a look. We're going to try to recreate this sort of a game. And I know that you, Jason, looked into the prompt. Yeah, the work from actually was asking for an open world that looks like Supercell, Clash Royale and Clash of Clans, all those games. They have a very distinct 3D style. When you mention styles like that, it can actually help the AI on Rosebud work well. We're going to keep these games single file to not overcomplicate it for all of the AIs. For that, we have a single file template on Rosebud AI. You should be able to find it a few rows down here, app template. We can search it up. It's going to be one of the first results over here. When you remix, hit the remix button, it's going to give you your own fresh copy. And then you'll see a simple hello world. And when you switch to the code tab, which shows you the code of this project, you'll we'll see the one file. Copy it. This is what you'll take over to Gemini, Grok, or DeepSeek, whatever model you're using. We got our prompt. Here it is. I want to create an awesome open world game with rolling hills, trees, and a day-night cycle. It has to have a character in third-person view. There should be a mini-map of the world. You should be able to collect diamonds. Make sure the final result is not simple. Return full code without breaking the main structure. This is my current project. And then we copy-paste the code of the mm -hmm. template we showed before. All right, here we go. First one, Grok. We turning think. Boom, let's go. Next up, Deep Sea Car 1. Let's go. And Gemini 2.5 Pro. Grok has been thinking for 100 seconds at this point. Deep Seek has a response already. Yep. Gemini is also ready. So waiting for Grok. All right, just got my Gemini and Deep Seek response. Grok still thinking. Typical Grok thinks a lot. Finally, Grok thought for 275 seconds. What is it? Is it like five minutes almost? Jason, show what you got. Sounds good. Copy my Gemini response. Uh, almost 700 lines of code. Wow, impressive. Diamond collector. <laughs> oh, okay. I like the mini map. It's, it's dark right now. Nothing actually lit, but I can walk. There are trees, and the mini map seems to be working. Next, move on to Grok. 346 lines, so shorter. Hmm. Ooh, an error. How do we? I also got an error for Grok, which is a bummer. And also 357 lines of code. Very similar. I'm going to try hmm. to fix it. Well, actually, the fix was pretty quick, and this is not bad. I mean, mini map's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Birds yeah, cute. the mini map is, yeah, it's like a top down view yeah wow we get better lighting in this this is already almost ready cool all right now i'll show deep seek let's see what we got even shorter like 250 lines hmm. i don't know i don't know have yeah i don't see anything score and <laughs> probably the mini map all right so here's my grog game kind of looks similar to yours but jason it's even worse uh, in terms of lighting so i think you got a pretty good result uh -uh. yeah i cannot really move it's all very dark damn yeah. All right, next one. Deep Seek. 200 lines of code. Preview. Oh, Jason, it's the same. It's black screen. All right, that's a bummer. The last one, Gemini. 636 lines of code. Oh, no. It's also black screen. What is happening? I submitted all of the fixes to all of the models. Let's see what we get. Croc is thinking a lot again. Deep Seek is about to finish, I think. Gemini. I already have a response. That's amazing. Finally, I have responses from all of them. Took again, like, almost 200 seconds for rock and uh let's see okay <laughs> so this actually looks very similar to what you got but i still cannot move yeah you got a way better result yeah maybe we can try a prompt just fully on focused on movement see if we yeah. can fix it the next one is deep seek oh no it's all black again that's very annoying but the minimap is fine. Yeah, actually, I, I would even include that in the prompt, yeah, because maybe that'll give a clue what's going on. If you have okay. a black screen when, when copying code like that, in general, it usually just means that the setup wasn't respected. But it's interesting that the minimap is fine, right? Yes, no, your, your case, yeah. So that, that's a good sign. It probably can be fixed. All right, I'm going to tell DeepSeek that minimap looks fine, but everything else is dark or black. Fix it and return full code. And for Grok, I'm going to say that looks great but I can't move. I cannot make Gemini run. It's broken. Jason, would you get? The next prompt to fix the Gemini results <laughs> led to this. <laughs> oh, wow. Actually, the trees seem a bit better now. They seem to be fewer for, oh. Oh, so that's a day and night thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is better. Yeah, this is it's all of the black, but I, mean, I don't know what, that's the start of it. I don't know what's going on. Honestly, it's it is not dark. bad. Can you collect the diamonds? I collected it, but it's not actually doing anything. Visually. Nice. This is much better than what I got so far. Yeah, so I'll tell Gemini it's working well, but we need cool effects when collect diamonds. And Gemini seems the most eager to write lots of code, though. Are you writing a new one? What I've been doing is that whenever the that stones work, I just take the code that Gemini has, paste it in, mm. and say continue working instead of doing the continue in the chat. Mm. Do you think it works better? Yeah, I mean, it has been for me anyway. I'm using Jason's approach where I start new chat for each prompt. Let's see if it mm. helps. So far, 
don't see much. Jason, how are you doing? Again, using the new chat approach, Grok was more eager to write more code, but right now I'm still having this weird issue where things look good, but then when I walk around a bit, I just kind of vanish, I'm trying to find the pattern of what causes it. I submitted this project to Gemini for the next fix. Oh, that is weird. Gemini said, as a language model, I'm not able to assist. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do then? I don't know. <laughs> I got yet another response from Gemini. No luck. Rosebud AI is trying to fix Gemini right now. And that's my only hope. I still see the error. I'm dedicated to making this work. Right, in the meantime, got something from DeepSeek. Okay, so DeepSeek is also just black screen. What is happening? Yeah, for me, DeepSeek seems to be like the least respectful of the structure. Fortunately. So far, Grok is kind of doing the best. I actually have a working game. I cannot really move in the game, but I can now. Jason, look. When I move the ground, it's just like moving as well. So this is very like trippy compared to all the others. We are getting somewhere. Looking at this, Jason had such a better start with Grok. This goes to say, just try a few attempts when you're making a project and choose the best starting point because debugging yes. and like fixing can be really hard. I'm feeling frustrated with all of these models. But I'm just going to try it on Rosebud. Boom. <laughs> Let's see what we get. How are you doing, Jason, in the meantime? I sent a prompt on Rose, Rosebud to add an asset that's floating and facing the wrong way, but <laughs> I'm also working on the next prompt in Gemini to get this game to have better lighting. I think this one's good. Then I think it's honestly good at that point. Maybe you can try an asset to it too. I'm going to give Grok another attempt to fix um, this game. Starting a new chat. Send. Boom. I'm feeling a little hopeless with my Gemini game. It's just all black now. Yeah, it's happening a lot to me too. I mean, I got a pretty big response, a thousand lines from Gemini as the next one for this and then everything looked black again. All right, I'm asking Gemini to fix it again. In my game, I realize now that what's happening is nighttime is just too dark. It's actually not really black. It's just extremely dark. So maybe that's the same for you. Hmm, okay. Yeah, because after I waited a while, it changed to like night, daytime and then it looked fine again. Wow, Jason, look at what I got just on Rosebud. This is nice. A one shot, yeah, not bad. Nice lighting at nighttime, yeah. The map is cool. This is good. Another response from Grok. I can't move around. I can't collect diamonds, by the way. Can I? Yeah, I collected two diamonds. Okay, my world's shifting a lot. It's like two worlds. Last chance, Grok. In the meantime, another try for Deep Seek. Facing the code save there's less and less code for some reason okay well hey i don't have a black screen anymore jason look blue screen now <laughs> where's the game all right gemini got another response looks very long 977 lines of code preview whoa okay mm, okay this is something i cannot move around that's an uh, honestly i didn't believe in gemini at this point Go response from grok asked for it to implement my character and also make the lighting better. Probably my last one for Grok. Yeah, the character was facing the wrong way in the first, last prompt, but this is go. Also, even made the. Oh, I added the glow for the crystals or the diamonds. Not bad at all. We got some floating trees, but diamonds are vanishing before I can pick them up, but they look good. So nice. This is great. All right, I'm just telling Gemini that this is great. I can't move around my character and the lighting is too dark for too long. Make the game just look visually more stunning. Return full code. Let's see if this works. I'm not starting a new chat no tricks here maybe this is fine in the meantime deep seek <laughs> we have another attempt oh wow now i don't have the map this is so frustrating final response from gemini i also told gemini to add character and to make the lighting look better almost 1200 lines of code okay yeah nice yeah, i like the titles of this is a yeah, world which looks way better no more like night where you can't see anything also yeah, the diamonds. This is really nice. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's just the opposite way, but otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> where'd you get the asset from? This is a Quaternius asset from the Cube World pack. Nice. So cool. Oh, look at this. Look at the sunset. Look at that. This is great. This is a bit much, but yeah, I like it. <laughs> I <got> bomb went <laughs> off. <laughs> this is my Grok. Oh, wow. Okay. Your Grok version is also pretty cool. You're doing much better than me. I cannot believe we are not able to do anything with deep seek like both I, I don't know yeah let's give deep seek another like five minutes to try one eternity later what the hell is it deep seek yeah <laughs> so this is the first version working from deep seek wow <laughs> uh, yeah. i was stretched down and i don't know hilarious damn deep seek the revolution in ai upon us maybe if you try a few more prompts we're gonna get it <laughs> you are collecting diamonds pretty effective compared yeah, to yeah it's functional <laughs> camera looks switched i got a new version from gemini unfortunately i still cannot move i don't know why uh, which is very frustrating because the game looks good yeah i like the shine on the diamonds yet another response from deep seek hoping 
We can have something. Okay, let's see. Oh, Jason! Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yes. Okay. Wow. I can't collect diamonds even. Yeah, what I mean, you? you're not going into the ground even. You're like, it's... I'm not. Yeah, I'm staying on top Whoa, of the ground. The trees are kind of in the ground, but it's fine. This is actually really good for yeah. What? Yeah, only two hundred fifty-three lines of code. Hey, I'm actually satisfied with this. Success. This is crazy. Two hundred. I think it's time to final showdown. This is my version of the game from Croc. You know, we tried, we iterated, but it's not perfect. It's trippy. I like that. Deep Seek is impressive. I can move around, I can collect diamonds. It took a while to make it work at all. We don't have the minimap, but it's fine. And then if you replace the character with an actual asset, it can be amazing. Yeah. The most beautiful one, visually, with a thousand lines of code, but we can't move around. I have mm -hmm. no idea why. All right, Jason, your turn. We got this with Grok. This is actually quite good. We had an issue of like diamonds, like they look cool, but I can't collect them because they just vanish. Actually, I can't collect them, but they still vanish. So I don't know. <laughs> but we can walk around, I can run. We have day night cycle with some, a bit of fog. Pretty good. Nice. And you can actually also walk on the hills, so. Yeah, I can. All right, next we have the one from Gemini. I have a guy I'm walking around, walking the wrong way, but he can also run. It's a bit of movement glitching when you're going on a hill. Yeah, he's falling through the ground randomly. The lighting in this is nice. You have the minimap. Yeah, the minimap works with, really well, yeah. Yeah, and the same uh, minimap you have um, with Croc, right? Yep, they both have working minimaps from the, kind of like a bird's eye view. Whoa, the effects are crazy sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Very intense, but yeah. Last one we have Deep Seek, which got a bit of improvement at the end. But yeah, we have wow. to collect and go around. It does work to yeah. collect. Yep. No minimap, no change okay. of day time. A few more prompts, maybe. Or maybe a few more hours. I guess the competition is pretty simple. So it's either your game made with Croc or your game made with Gemini. Um, since you added the assets, I think these look just much better. Well, see, it's tough because I like the lighting of this one, but then yeah. this one has like very smooth movement. Yeah. So I'm not sure. But you had a really good looking Gemini one as well. So maybe that one's going to win. I agree. It doesn't look bad, but I think the trees are kind of funny. Uh, the minimap was actually good, but you cannot move. And if that worked, I would agree with you. But I think the winner is Gemini and uh, Jason's game. This went from like basically pitch black nighttime to all this. So very good last prompt from Gemini. So that was a fun competition between all of the different models. Definitely was not the easiest thing to do. If you don't want to struggle iterating on your game, just use Rosebud AI. We have way better workflow to fix all the annoying issues, black screens and whatever can happen to your game. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. See you all.